Hicks is a uh, tight hammy, um, so we just we didn't want to risk anything. Hopefully, it's not anything serious. He'll be examined more tomorrow, and uh, you know, hopefully, it's it's not something that keeps him out down too long. Will he have an MRI? He will have an MRI just just to be safe. You lost Didi. You don't know how long he's going to be out now. Hicks goes down. Are you just thinking not at this point in time of the season can't have these injuries? Yeah, I mean, you know, we. You, is what it is when things like that happen and you got to deal with it. You've got to be able to roll with it. Um, again, hopefully it's not something that keeps them down too long and, and we get good news, but, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we check everything out and make sure he's okay. Did it happen just running to first there or was it before that he was feeling yeah, it? I think it was when he was going down to first. He didn't start, but obviously he had a huge impact on this game and Brett Gardner coming in for Hicks. What did you think of his performance? Awesome. Um, just pro ready. Um, you know, I really feel like, you know, obviously, since we've gotten healthy, it's cut into some of his playing time, but there's no doubt in my mind, you know, he's going to play a big role for us down the stretch and hopefully on into the playoffs. And, and he came up huge tonight for us with a big hit to, to give us a lead there. And then what a play in center. What do you think of how, how the pitching uh, all came together? One run, we'll take that, right? Um, yeah, it was a little different. Um, you know, Holder kind of gets himself out of a jam there in the first inning, uncharacteristic where he walks a couple guys. You know, he's usually so good at pounding the zone, but gets out of that. And then Tarpley was terrific. Sonny was good. And then and then the guys just rolled it out, and um, it worked out pretty well tonight. So a, a good all-around effort by obviously a lot of guys on the pitching staff. Does it give you anything to think about, not that you'd replicate this exactly for a wild card game or playoff game, but does it give you something to think about uh, well, from what I you mean, saw tonight? Look, we feel like you know our pen is really deep with a lot of guys that you would consider high leverage guys. So we feel like when we're at our best, um, you know, when we're rested, we can shorten the game on you um, with the guys we, we can run out of that bullpen. So um, you know, there's, there's probably going to be playoff games um, you know, where you do see a starter that goes short and we can kind of roll out our guys in an inning apiece. And, and that's definitely one of the formulas for us to be successful. Did you have that lined up like that heading into the game or were you constantly adjusting as the game was going on? We tried to, you know, I think we kind of envisioned it playing out like that, you know, but, you know, you go through things and it doesn't always work to plan. Um, you know, we, we did consider before the game we were maybe going to go to Sunny first and then save Tarpley for maybe the next round through. But we figured, you know, once it was starting with the lefty the next inning, we felt like it was a good lane for Tarpley there, and he delivered. And then Sonny was able to give us two strong innings as well. And then we felt like if, if we could get, you know, the game close or, or a lead um, into that fifth inning, we felt like we could roll our guys out. Chad Green pitched a flawless inning. It seems like when he pitches one inning, he's had a lot of success. It's that second inning that has caused him some trouble this year. Is he now a one-inning pitcher, or is he still a multi-inning pitcher to you? No, we view him as a multi-inning guy. Today we only viewed him as a one-inning because of just the workload of late, and really with all of our guys. you know That's what made it a little bit dicey tonight in some of those innings because we didn't really feel like you know, with Greeny, with Robbie, with Dellen, we weren't really comfortable going more than one tonight just with the workload they've had of late. So it kind of needed to roll out like that or else we, you know, we would have had to get a little creative. Was the, with, uh, with Chapman, it was a little bit like Tarpley where you had him lined up against some lefties. Was that no. Uh, happenstance. No, yeah, it's more happen. Yeah, we because we don't really with most most all of our you know Robbie Chappie Britton and Batances we don't really care the handedness. You know we might consider matchups that we like, but usually they're actually typically more effective at getting the other hand out. So. Uh, yeah. I know you said you've liked Gary's defense uh, lately. Uh, obviously, the pass balls are, are there's been an uptick there <coughs> lately. What do you think that's going on there? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we're talking there in the ninth. You know, I I felt like he did so many good things behind the plate tonight, um, and but a few, a few, you know, bumps there that we got to continue to work on and continue to clean up. Um, 
and it you know it kind of overshadows some of the really good things he did tonight from a receiving from a game calling standpoint uh, we just got to keep keep leaning into him I know he's working his butt off at it and uh, and we'll keep going Brandon, do you think this is just a man uh, or a situation where he's just getting healthier after the Achilles and sort of maybe that's why you've seen the uptick in what he's brought yeah I don't know about healthier more as I would say just the rust is knocked off you know just starting his season so late you know you're a little behind you're playing catch up where guys are in mid-season form and you're kind of going through spring training so I think he's just getting more sharp is more than anything um, and I mean he was electric tonight and and really we've seen more and more of that um, and it, it's really good to see him throwing the ball well and and really the good thing is he's been bouncing back really well, so that's been encouraging. In the postseason, Aaron, do you see a situation where you don't necessarily have a designated closer, or do you feel like you need to name someone or have someone in that role going in? No, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, because, you know, a lot of that obviously depends on, on Chapman coming back and, you know, where he's at. Um, you know, his third time out there today, thought he was pretty sharp again today, another step forward, so... We'll see, you know, we'll, we'll see. Were there any indications about uh, Hex's hamstring before today? Uh, no, no, it was, no, it was the first I, um, we, we saw him kind of stretching out in the outfield and a little concern and, you know, I, he, he wanted to stay in the game, but, you know, with hamstring, that's not something I, I wanted to roll the dice with. We'll see. I mean, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. We'll see, um, you know, just how sore he is or not tomorrow, and, and we'll kind of go day by day.